Greetings everyone, it's Elliot here, back for another video talking about Blu-rays. And in particular, I'm talking about the label Arrow Academy. That's because there is an Easter sale on at the moment on Arrow's website. And this covers Arrow Video, Arrow Academy, Second Run, Third Window, all of the labels that are distributed by Arrow. So I've picked up 10 titles off my shelf in the back. That's why my shelves are looking a bit ransacked. I'm going to show you 10 titles that I would recommend picking up during this Arrow Academy Easter sale. Now, don't worry if you're watching this after the fact when the sale isn't on. These recommendations do stand. These are films that I think are excellent. And regardless of the price that you pay, I think they're worth picking up and having in your collection. The first two films that I'm going to recommend for you are from one of my favourite directors of all time. I'm talking about Robert Altman, who had this great knack for working with actors and bringing great stories to film. The first one I'm going to recommend is The Long Goodbye. This is starring Elliot Gould and it's based off a famous Raymond Chandler novel by the same name. It's a detective story based on the same pulpy novels that a lot of film noir was based on. The character Marlowe has been played by Humphrey Bogart and Robert Mitchum in the past and Elliot Gould brings a really interesting take to the character. It's not usual Altman fair in that it doesn't have this great ensemble cast of characters. It focuses mainly on the central character of Marlowe but it is just fascinating and it shows off so much of what Altman was good at. The second Altman title that I'm going to recommend from this sale is Three Women. You'll probably notice I've actually reversed the cover on this and The Long Goodbye because Arrow's famous for having reversible sleeves. There's like some newly commissioned artwork for the Arrow release. So I do love that in that Arrow gives you the choice of displaying more of the original theatrical kind of artwork that was used or brand new commissioned artwork. But anyway, about the film, it does take a lot from Ingmar Bergman's persona. It's very much about identity and someone taking over someone's identity and people's personalities merging into one and flipping back and forth. Great performances from Shelley Duvall and Sissy Spacek as the main two women of the story. And it's very haunting there's so much eeriness to this. I actually believe this film shares a lot in common in terms of tone with one of Altman's other films, which is Images. Now, Images is also available from Arrow Academy, so I would totally recommend that as well. But I'm mainly talking about three women here. For £7.50, you can't beat it. Next up is a release from one of my favourite modern filmmakers. It's from Hirokazu Koreeda, and this is his Family Values box set set of three films which is I Wish, Like Father Like Son and After the Storm. Now I know you're probably thinking this box set is out of print, you can't get it. Well no, because with this sale Arrow announced that they're reissuing this, not in the box set format, I think it's just going to be in a single case, but you are going to get all three films. I love Corriere's work, I love his film Shoplifters, our Little Sister, and then there's some of his earlier works that are great as well, but these are more of his modern ones. I know that some people liken Koryeda's work to Yasujiro Ozu's work because he dealt a lot with family dramas, interesting family dynamics. I know that's something that Koryeda tries to shed. He doesn't like that association to Ozu, not because he doesn't like Ozu. Ozu's a great filmmaker, but I think he's wanting to make his films something different. I'm just going to say that, you know, Family Values is well worth picking up. I think it's £20. I think it's on pre-order in the sale. So if you miss this and you want all three films, Family Values, well worth it. I'm just going to interrupt the video for one second. I just want to say that if you're new here and you're enjoying this, please do consider subscribing to the channel and liking the video because that will help get this video out there and shown to more people. Anyway, Back to the video. Next up, I've got a Western, Terror in a Texas Town, from Joseph H. Lewis. Uh, Joseph H. Lewis was very famous for a lot of the film noir films he made, like Gun Crazy. Gun Crazy is one of my favourite films of all time. 
And this is a very interesting Western from Lewis. It's kind of a B-movie Western starring Sterling Hayden playing this Swedish sailor. Sterling Hayden's accent as a Swede is a bit ropey. I don't know if I buy it, essentially, but he looks like a Swede. I think he has that, at times, almost that Max von Sydow, tall, blonde-haired guy kind of look. It's well worth that. I think it's only £5 in the sale. So, yeah. That's my recommendation. Another Western. This is one of my favourite Westerns of all time. It's My Darling Clementine from John Ford, starring Henry Fonda. I love this film, and I love the expressive lighting and the shadows in this film. It's almost noirish in its tone. I love the story of Wyatt Earp and Doc Holliday. It's a very famous story that's been told again and again in Westerns, but I think this might be the ultimate portrayal of that story. John Ford, one of the greatest American filmmakers ever, and he made so many great westerns, but this is one of my favourites, if not my favourite. You can't get this special edition anymore, but you can get a normal edition, and I think it's £7.50, so well worth it for any western fans out there. Okay, this next recommendation I want everyone to go and get. If you're going to get any of the films that I've mentioned in this video, I want you to get this one. And I say one, it's actually three films. It's Mohsen McMalbath's Poetic Trilogy. Now, you've probably never heard of this because I hadn't heard of these films before I bought this. But it's currently £7.50 in the Arrow Academy sale. So that's £7.50 for three films and special features. A great package. And these films are beautiful. I re-watched the first film from this yesterday... That's the film Gabe. It's all about folk tales and retelling a story. And the Iranian countryside is beautiful. The use of colour like, is exemplary. There's some really interesting editing in this film. Just great visual storytelling. The films are all very short. Gabe is 73 minutes long and the other two films are shorter than 90 minutes. This was a gamble for Arrow and I think it's a gamble that didn't pay off. It did not sell well at all. So I want to get this to sell well. I want to champion this release. So please, if you're going to do anything and buy anything in this sale, get this for £7.50. This next one I'm going to recommend, but I'm going to recommend it with caution because I don't think it is very accessible. I think you have to be a fan of this director already and seen some of his earlier works to actually move on to this, to progress on to this. The film is La Chinoise by Jean-Luc Godard. It's very heavy, it's tackling a lot of political ideas, philosophical ideas around socialism and communism. If you watched a few Godard films, if you've seen Breathless or Contempt or Viva Savi or, or any of those other films, this is one worth checking out. It's £7.50 in the sale. Cinematography by Raoul Coutard, so I would totally recommend this if you've already familiarised yourself with Jean-Luc Godard. This next one is from another French filmmaker, one of my favourite filmmakers of all time, and I've talked about him a lot on my channel before. It's Le Plaisir from Max Ophuls. Max Ophuls is such an elegant, fantastical storyteller. The way he tells stories through visuals is amazing, and this is no different. If you've seen La Ronde or Madame de or Lola Montez or any of his beautiful films, you should definitely check this out. It's an anthology of three stories based on short by author, I, I always pronounce this wrong, is it Guy de Maupassant? Anyway, it's based on three of his short stories and I, th I find it amazing. The opening one in particular I love, there's a dance sequence at the start, filmed incredibly, so yeah, Le Plaisir, Max Ophuls. I'm going to recommend a noir film now. This is The Glass Key, starring Veronica Lake and Alan Ladd. And I love this film. This is a great noir film based on the novel by Dashiell Hammett, who is one of the greatest, you know, hard-boiled crime fiction authors of all time. If you've already acquainted yourself with the great noir masterpieces and you want to delve a bit deeper into that film movement, then The Glass Key is a great next step. And lastly, I'm going to mention another noir film. This is Nightfall from Jacques Tourneur. This is an interesting one to end this video on because this is a noir film from 1956, which was pretty much the end of the film noir 
movement. You know, after this, there weren't many successful film noirs at all. So it's almost like an interesting swan song to the genre. And Tuner, the director, is no stranger to noir films, making some of the greatest noir films of all time. You know, ones like Out of the Past with Robert Mitchum. So if you've watched some noir films, if you want to watch The Glass Key, I would also recommend getting Nightfall almost as a companion piece to see, you know, a more early noir next to a more later noir. So yeah, Nightfall, Jacques Tourneur rounds out my Arrow Academy recommendations. So there you have it. These are all my recommendations that you could pick up during this Arrow Academy sale. Now that you've finished this video, I would recommend going and checking out another video I made back in February about some Arrow Academy recommendations because you might end up finding some more films that you like within that video. If you liked this video and the recommendations, please do let me know in the comments below and let me know what films you might be picking up in this sale. I will be back with more videos on Blu-rays and Arrow Video and Arrow Academy very soon. So until then, keep watching great movies. And if you want to watch more videos from me on this YouTube channel, just click whichever video is on the screen right now. I'll see you very soon.